What's up? J Street Moto here and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today's video is going to be a little bit um, outside the norm for what we normally produce on this uh, channel. Uh, I decided to still try and learn the uh, <clears throat> Insta360. Uh, I bought the Insta360 ONE X2 to add uh, to the bike for while I'm vlogging and uh, I hadn't really messed around with different mounting, well, places to mount the camera, and then uh, you know to get different get different shots, and then in post production, see what I could do with those shots. And so, this video is really just a test of three different camera locations, uh, all of them using the uh, invisible selfie stick, and then. Uh, all the post-production stuff has happened in the the Insta360 software itself. Um, so yeah, you're going to see a couple of different... It, it, it was two different rides. Uh, well, technically three different rides. Uh, but two of these videos were taken along the same uh, roads. So I was going the same direction just with two different camera mounts. This one right now that you're looking at is on the selfie stick extended from the handlebars. So it's in front of me and kind of flying about, I don't know, just slightly above where my head is, uh, is probably a good, uh, a, a good explanation for where this one's mounted. Uh, then I flipped it around and mounted it to my uh, sissy bar and strapped it there that's this angle here it's when you see this angle that's what you're seeing and then extended it out the back um i really do i, I kind of dig this camera you can do stuff with it that makes it feel almost like there's a drone following you when you're when you're out riding i'm kind of interested in seeing the the kind of footage i can get uh, when we start taking some of our our longer trips uh and and what i can do with those so yeah um this was really about me just seeing what works, uh, what doesn't work, and how do I, how do I get the, uh, well, you know, the angle and view that I want uh, for the video that I'm trying to produce. So that's pretty much what this video is going to be about today. Um, probably not going to do a whole lot of talking throughout it because there's really not a whole lot to talk about about this at least this setup um but yeah you've seen the first two camera angles when the third camera angle comes in uh, i'll explain to you how i captured that one um and uh because that one probably is one of the more interesting ones it, it certainly wouldn't be a way that i could do it for long periods of time while we're while we're driving down the road um but it is a cool effect for you know if i'm just cruising around town or going someplace that's short distance i could certainly do the camera angle the way that's getting ready to be shown Here is that third angle. Now for this one, what I'm doing is I am sitting on the selfie stick and it's sticking out to the side of the bike. So basically I have the selfie stick underneath my butt in the saddle. And that gives me the ability to see myself from the side, to look to the front and low, which gives you uh, a little bit um, more context when it comes to speed and such. Uh, or look directly behind me while I'm while I'm moving. Um, it's it was uh, I was pretty um, I was pretty pleased with how the sh this angle turned out. I, I thought it was I thought it was kind of cool and a unique uh, a unique way to to uh, see stuff from the motorcyclist perspective. So yeah. Um, 
I did a couple of different, all of this footage was shot like once. I made one video with the, the camera on the handlebars extended. I made one video with the camera mounted to the sissy bar bag pointing backwards. And I made one video sitting on the stick riding through my neighborhood. And then from those videos, from that raw footage, I was able to create three different uh, videos of each of those perspectives. Um, so yeah, that's what I was, I was just trying to, to demonstrate some of the versatility associated with this camera. I don't know if you are the kind of person that likes to video your rides when you're out there riding. Uh, I haven't had this camera that long, so I'm not going to do a full product review on it until I've had it for about a year. Um, but as of now, it's a really cool camera, and I'm very pleased with the the kinds of footage that I'm getting out of it and the things that I'm able to do with it. So, I mean, it does, it lives up to the hype and lives up to what you would expect a 360 camera to do. enjoying seeing some of the different things you can that, that is capable to do with this camera um the the other kind of things that have been going on let me catch y'all up what's happening uh uh around the j street moto garage and uh um, really just stuff that's happening in you know in general so we've talked about the fact that i have a slip in third gear um I have uh, talked to a couple of different mechanics. Um, the, the consensus that I've gotten so far is that, well, the only consensus I have so far is that there is no adjustment on a hydraulic clutch. So uh, it's unlikely that the slipping is occurring because the clutch needs to be adjusted. Um, the second information that I've gotten and this is this is kind of mixed depending on which mechanic I talk to um, uh, one mechanic tells me that the, the that it is possible that the clutch is slipping just in one gear uh, I've had another mechanic tell me the clutch can't tell what gear it's in so if it was the clutch that was causing your problem and not the transmission then he would expect that I'm getting the symptoms and the slippage um, all the in every gear, not just in 
not just in third, that I would be able to, that, that the same symptom would exist across the spectrum of the entire transmission. So through all the years, in other words. Um, so I was in the process of, I'm still in the process of uh, investigating clutches and seeing which one I might potentially want to get to put on the bike. Uh, so far, the ones I'm looking at are the uh, Recluse Torque Drive High Performance Manual Clutch um, and the other ones I'm looking at are both, uh, well, the Barnett Hydraulic Scorpion Clutch for Harley Touring models. Those are the two that I'm looking at getting, uh, or, or, you know, one of those two will be the one that I opt to get. Uh, to replace my existing clutch. Uh, I don't, uh, of course, that's assuming that I end up going down the road of replacing the clutch. Right now, my concern is, because I don't know whether it's the clutch or not for sure, um, I don't want to replace the clutch, have the same problem, and need to replace the transmission. So uh, I'm probably going to spend a little more time talking to a few more people to... Uh, you know, maybe even take it to a Harley dealership and have a tech ride it and diagnose it for me. Uh, at least to confirm one way or the other, right? Uh, it's an expensive, it's an expensive modification and repair to do uh, if it's not the right thing. Um, and I do want to change the clutch. At some point, I will change the clutch because uh, for all the benefits that I've talked about in the past. Um, but I'm, yeah. I was going to pull the trigger on the clutch earlier rather than later because I thought that that was what my problem was uh, and I was trying to fix an issue that I'm having. Uh, now I'm not so sure, so uh, I'm probably going to be doing a little more research and kicking things around before I, I make a final decision, but I will keep you all in the loop and let you know uh, when that final decision is made. So that, uh, you know, because I told y'all I'm going to do, if I do replace the clutch, I will do an installation video on that one. Uh, another installation video that's going to come up, and I, I thought about doing a product review for this week, honestly. Uh, specifically on the Ditrio Underlight LED kit that I have for my motorcycle. Um, I decided I'm going to hold off on that one because uh, in reality, uh, a couple of my friends, uh, one of them she got the light kit and and I have offered to help her install it or help them install it uh, as long as they let me video the installation process so I'm probably gonna do more of a review on that product while I'm doing the installation video if that makes sense uh, it just seems like that would be the thing that's easiest to do but yeah so those are a couple things that are coming up uh, that you can be be certain to hear more about in future episodes uh, I hope you guys are digging the channel um if you if you like my content please like the videos uh, subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell uh, all those things help my channel and uh, you know and get the content out in front of um, more people uh, the, the last couple of videos I've produced, I, I've been really pleased with, especially the last one, the, the South 21 review. Uh, I was really pleased with the editing in that video. Uh, and, and so, um, and that video is performing rather well for, for the time that it's been released. It's running, I think at number two, uh, for all the videos I've released during that same, during their first, you know, call it week. Uh, so yeah, it, it got a lot of, it got a lot of positive, uh, well, it was received positively. Uh, the other thing I'd like to thank those, if you're watching this and you've commented recently, uh, I'd like to thank those that have been interacting with the channel. Uh, I've had quite a few comments over the past week or so about other videos. I mean, they were, they were, you know, one was about the Kyriakin speaker review. Another was about the, the, uh, Memphis shades review. I've had a couple about other videos. Um, I really, really, really enjoy getting your comments and, uh, enjoy seeing your questions. I, I like that 
uh, folks are interacting with the channel. It's kind of the reason that I created the thing. So uh, keep doing that. Um, if there's a question about one of the videos that you have, uh, leave it in the comments section. And we'll, I'm very responsive. You can go back and look. You, you will get an answer from me. So I'd like to thank everybody that has been commenting and, you know, keeping the channel active. I hope you've enjoyed this video today and enjoyed seeing some of the things that are possible with this uh, Insta360 One X2 uh, video camera. Uh, I, I am not sponsored by them, by the way, so all of my opinion here and, and what I've been doing is my opinion. My, it's my own. It's not because uh, someone's footing the bill. So in any case, I hope you've enjoyed it. And always, ride safe.